Welcome to Caspio's demonstration of Triggered Action Implementation. Today I will be demonstrating a simple trigger that upon insert or update of a record in one table, we'll use those values to create a new record in a separate table. The desired behavior of this triggered action is such that when a new record is created or modified in the customer info table, those values will then be inserted into the log info table. The purpose of this will be to create a historical log of changes made to the customer info table. The first step is to select which table the triggered action should be based on. In this case, it is the customer info table. To access triggered actions, hover over the table, click more, and then click triggered actions. This will bring up a list of any existing triggers you may have previously created for this table and the option to create a new triggered action. Please note that only one trigger can be enabled per event. For example, if I have two triggered actions based on an insert event, only one of the two can be enabled at any given time. For this example, we will be creating a new trigger, so I will click on the new triggered action selection. This will bring up the visual builder for triggered actions. First we need to choose which event should execute this triggered action. The options you will have are insert, update, and delete. For our example, this trigger will to execute on insert or update, so I will check the update box as well. Next, I need to choose the action to create a new record in the log table. Click on actions in the left hand menu, and I will choose the insert into block. I will drag and drop that into my builder. I now need to select which table I wish to insert into. From the drop down, I can choose log info. For the next step, I need to select which fields I wish to receive values in the log info table when this trigger executes. I can change the field by selecting the drop down or add additional fields by clicking the add. I will add all the fields needed for this particular trigger. Now, to the right of each of these fields, I see an option to add a static value for each field. This then on execution of the trigger would insert that static value into the table. In my case though, however, I wish to insert values from a field. To add a field option, I click on data and select field, drag and drop that into the piece. I can then duplicate this for each of the different fields throughout this trigger. Now as you can see, these field options have a drop down. And as of right now, I don't have any options to select from. This is because I need to add a select statement to get values from other fields. To add a select, I click on the gear icon and check the box for select. This adds a select box to my action. In my case, I'm not going to be filtering by any records, so I can select the gear and uncheck the where to remove the limiting of records using criteria. Then I can take that extra block and drag it to the trash. In the select block, I can choose which table from which I wish to receive values. In my case, I am looking to get the values when the records are inserted into the customer info or updated in the customer info. This will then be the hashtag inserted value. If I wish to use a different table, the drop down gives me access to tables in my app and tables across all assets. In this case, we will be grabbing the information from the inserted. Once that is selected, I can then map the appropriate fields to each of the fields in the log info. Once this is completed, my trigger has been constructed. Before saving, click validate to check for any errors. If any errors are shown, they will highlight the section and give you a message. Please note, you'll need to correct these errors before being able to save your triggered action. Once the validation completes without error, click Save, and then you can name your trigger. This will be named on Insert or Update, Create, Log. And I'm going to save and enable my trigger. Now to test out the trigger, what I will need to do is go to my customer info table and see right now there are no records. As well I have my log table, no records. What I'm going to do is I'm going to enter in some general information. And 
and my desired behavior is when this record is created, it should create a record in the log table. Let's refresh my log, and we can see that record was created. Now what I will do is make a change, say John's phone number has, has changed, and this should create a new record in the log table. We'll refresh again, and you see that a new record was created with the timestamp set. This concludes the demonstration of working with Caspio triggered actions. For more information, please visit howto.caspio.com.